Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Canva. Are you allowed to use Canva's graphical images on your Redbubble stores so you can get Redbubble sales? Some people have been asking me in the comments recently of, you know, are, are we allowed to use images from Canva or are we going to get suspended? Uh, some people have even said that they have gotten suspended. Um, some people have said, you know, they're just not sure and they don't want to take a risk. Well, let's go ahead and talk about that today. So let's head over to Canva and let's just pick like an image, right? Let's say we wanted to go with this pro image. Okay, let's just go ahead and click on these three dots here and let's click on this this little button here. It says free for Canva Pro. Okay, now here it says licensing made simple. Canva Pro subscribers get this media for free. So here's what you're allowed to do and here's what you're not allowed to do with the image. So let's go ahead and read it. It says use this media safely in any Canva design for personal or commercial use. Okay, it says here. You can use this in marketing, social media, or even selling merchandise without restrictions. What you cannot do is you cannot sell, redistribute, or take credit for an unaltered media provided through Canva. Notice the word unaltered here. You can't trademark your design with stock media, so be careful if you're using logos in it. So, this actually tells us the answer right here, but there are some caveats and there are some things you want to be aware of, okay? Here it says very specifically, you can use this in marketing or social media or even selling merchandise. So if I want to take this design and I want to put it on a t-shirt, okay, I can make money off of it. I'm allowed to legally. From Canva's perspective, I won't be hard from, harmed from Canva's perspective. And if Canva ever wanted to question me and say, hey, that's our design, all you have to do is say, hey, I have a subscription to your pro account. Here it is. Here's my email. You guys can verify it. And there, you're, there you go. The problem is, is where people start to get suspended doing this. And I'll explain exactly what I mean. <clears throat> a lot of the times, there are people who might use this design before you. Okay? And when people use this design before you, and they create their own design out of it, or even they just paste the design literally the way it is in from Canva to Redbubble, they tend to feel some sort of... Um, ownership over some sort of power some sort of ownership that they have but it's a false ownership it doesn't belong to them they're just allowed to use it so it's drastically different okay and they tend to feel this ownership and they have the right to in their eyes at least uh essentially contact redbubble and say listen this person stole my design and I want you to do something about it. And what Redbubble will do is they'll look into it. They'll see the dates of when things are uploaded. They'll, you know, kind of check to see if there's any differences between the image. And as long as you have uploaded the image before them, then technically they will take you down. Now, you have the right to appeal this decision and fight it back as an artist. But this is why I always kind of recommend when it comes down to designing and somebody has asked me a question about designing i recommend <coughs> you don't just go for just the image don't just take the image just from canva put it on a shirt and then sell it try to customize it in some sort of way and when i say customize i'm talking about the end product the finished product whether you want to add text to the image whether you want to make some sort of background graphic, whatever you can do that will make the image different. Essentially, what you're doing is you're incorporating the image into your work, right? And this is something that you can all do very, very easily, whether it be through Canva or any other type of image bank software out there. And so the idea is, yes, you can get suspended. You can get your account taken down. But you also have the chance to appeal it. Now, what I recommend, like I said, is don't just take the image just like this and post it on a t-shirt, especially if there are other people doing this, okay? The reason why I say that, like I said, is because anybody can take you down like that. It, it just shows that you're not even customizing it. Now, um, Redbubble, you got to keep in mind, is at the end of the day, looking at it from a date uploaded perspective. They can't check every single piece of art and see where it's coming from, if it's from a verifiable, you know, royalty-free kind of location, right? In this case, 
you have just as much right to upload it as anyone else. The only problem is, is like I said, when people do end up getting you suspended, there might not be any repeals or appeals for that. So just keep in mind when you're using Canva graphics, okay, try to incorporate it with other aspects of your design. Okay, and that, what that's going to do for you really at the end of the day is it's going to help protect you from people end up uh, reporting your design to Canva, assuming that they have the same design. All right. So hopefully this video, guys, helped you out. Realize that there is no safe road. There is no guarantee that you won't get reported. But at the same time, you can still use Canva graphics and be perfectly fine by incorporating it in your design and not making it the only aspect of your design. OK, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully this video helped you out. I know it was a short one, but uh, pretty informative. All right. I'll talk to you later. Peace.